Hey everyone, Lens Manoles here and welcome back to Manufactio. I uh, haven't done a bunch on the base in between episodes. I've been uh, mucking around doing some other bits and pieces. Uh, I went and went up to the moon and I grabbed my rocket and brought it back and rebuilt it because I wasn't sure how to just pick up the rocket as a rocket. Um, I rebuilt it. Oh, it's finally back. Um, I thought I'd lost my rocket for a bit. <laughs> Um, so I brought it back, and let me just, it's going to be linked to a rocket. Yeah. Alright, I thought I could, um, I got, oh I broke it, but, uh, I built the rocket monitoring station, and I thought it must be the first machine to link. Eh, I, I don't know how this thing works, it's, um, Anyway, I was hoping I could link it. I don't know if I need to. Nothing to be linked. How about this? No. Anyway, um, so I, I went up to Secunda. Uh, so there is a second moon, which you've seen in the sky. There's two moons that float around, uh, and it's a bit of a different world. Uh, so I've got my space suit on, and I'm obviously keep landing hard because I don't have my my decent armor um, is really smart of me. Uh, I can't. I, I don't have any better armor than what I currently have. I've got all my stuff on me, which is probably a touch silly. Let me let me just put all this stuff away for the moment, and we'll do a little bit of exploration. Eh. I mean, I've got a lot of junk here. Probably wouldn't hurt to dump a little bit more out. Uh, I did take this stuff with me, and I tried to look for some ores up there. I, I don't know if there's ores on that moon. Um, and you guys let me know either way. All right, let's, let's head back up there. So I, I went up, and I place down a, a teleporter and, and hopefully oh, getting, oh, getting stuck in something can you like eat eat something please uh, really need to work on this all right let's go back up to Sukunda. die once i've got a little bit of oxygen this should be all right so this is Secunda. So I've got my spot loader and my, my dialing device and everything and a quantum entangler porter up here. And this is a crystal chasms biome. Now, as I said, I placed down, uh, I did a drill here and I didn't find anything. So I'm not sure what the, uh, the idea is with this moon, whether there's a particular Thing to uh, mine up here, but let me check out this stuff. Violet crystal block. Can I break it? Hello? This can be processed in a mechanism crusher to make all crystals. Prismarine shards. So the purple stuff is prismarine. And I do have like vein miner, so I could probably. Yeah, rain mine some up. Let's just check out the colours though. Grab one of these green. Name. Is it easier with a shovel or an axe or something? Let's try it with an axe. I mean, I know. No, it doesn't really matter. The green one is copper crystals. So look at that. So we could. I guess come up here with maybe a digiminer and mine this stuff up. That might be an interesting way of doing it. I don't I haven't built a digiminer yet. We might be able to do that. What's this? Dilithium. Interesting. Let's see what this is used for. Uh, dilithium dust. 
Okay, so this is the space station stuff. So we're going to need this gear. Advanced machine structures. The lithium, titanium. And I'm guessing this is like a, a space station. Push the right button for the quest book in this pack. would be smart. So this is probably stuff that gets unlocked in here. Oh, there is night time. Let's have a bit of a look around. I don't know if there's mobs here. Again, very new. Oh, wrong button. Try this button. As I said, I've got vein miner, so we're going to need a little bit of the, this stuff. That's not the button I need. Unfortunately, in this pack, vein miner's bound to caps lock for me, um, which isn't ideal. It means that next time I log into something, I'll be shouting at someone. Oh, I probably should have set a waypoint, shouldn't I? That would be awfully smart. slow up here let's just go what else we got so we got red what, what does red do not sure how many colors are up here let's check out some of the red Redstone. Nice, okay. What other colours are there if there's red, green and purple? I'm assuming there's more crystals. And you know, what else is underground? I only see red, green and purple up here. Ah, orange. Let's go and check out orange. Oh my gosh. Almost almost need that other space or the other suit that I've got. Okay. Let's get through this and grab a bit of the orange. And orange is gold crystals. So that system I set up in the previous or what, two, three episodes ago, um, in order to get the the gold crystals, and I needed I needed iron crystals to make um, storage uh, like storage cells. So the AE storage cells required iron as well. So when I made my crafting. Um, Crafting doodad, the, the auto crafting thing from AE. I needed a couple of iron ones too. So let's check out what yellow does. Yellow. Glowstone. Cool. Well, let's have another bit of a look in the chasms here. Lots of packed ice. Not sure what use of the packed ice I have. I mean, you know, probably doesn't hurt. Don't think I got any. Ooh, oh, wow. Chasms is the word. I don't see too much more, though. Like, there's crystals up the top. I don't see I don't see crystals anywhere but on the surface. Zoom around a touch. In chasms, yes. Lots of dilithium, which again probably quite handy for what we need.
Alright. Look at how to get out of here now. Appetite? No, I've got tons of that. Come on. Oh, really? Alright, well. It's an interesting moon. Let's jump back over to the teleporter. I don't know how many of these. Were. Look at all the snow I got. <laughs> um, go away. Certainly don't want it. Oh, I haven't seen. Is that blue? Zip over and have a look at blue. And I might. Um, Jump back to base and we'll see what we can do for maybe a Digiminer. Maybe I can make up the items I need for that. I can bring it up here and have it start searching for, for Dilithium for us. Um, that use the right control would be nice. And blue does Osmium. So again, like these these crystals can be used in all sorts of stuff. So 64k needs this. Uh, dimensional shards require all of these crystals. Um, but like if I go, what do we got? Violet? No, no. Let's let's do this properly. Crystal. The violet is prismarine. The blue we've just done. That's osmium green. Copper, red, redstone, yellow was glowstone, and orange was gold. Nice. I don't think there's any other way of making tin crystals other than the, the way I've got at home. Dilithium crystals. All right. So, what I'll do is I will head back to base. I'll cut it here because otherwise it's going to be a while. And we will make a... Let's see. Um, oops. What are they called again? <laughs> Digiminer, right? Try and make one of these guys. I'm hoping I've got everything I need. This could be fun. I might need to just we duck over to the end and grab some more dimensional shards. And I'm going to need to unlock this. So I can't even make a Digiminer until we unlock this next uh, retriever. So I'll head back and I'll see you in a moment. Alrighty. So first things first, we do need to unlock the, um, the next... Uh, Retrievers, so that's 200 red, green, blue, and yellow. Um, hello. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit derpy. Just because it's off the screen is, is the main reason. Red, green... Blue and yellow. Okay, so that's the retriever. So now to make the the digi miner, I'm going to need to make. Oh, now that's the next one as well. <laughs> wow, I need to go one more. Uh, so this is three hundred of each, and you know what? We're too low on blue, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this guy. Where are you? Resonant Retriever. Let's do this. 
because this should be pulling from here. And yes, we've got some blue and we've got some other stuff and it should actually top up from these guys. Now, the problem we're going to have very shortly is that um, the system I've got now with the in-between, basically, I'm not importing this stuff into the system. It's only whatever's in the machines over here. And I don't think I've got the buses hooked up yet. Oh, I've started to put buses on. The storage bus. So starting to get these guys hooked up. And, you know, then obviously I need to put um, some cabling down. Where did that go? Oh, how did, whatever. Um, so yeah, things are starting. I should probably go one more down, shouldn't I? I want to, I want to cover everything. Everything should be buried and neat and tidy. And like, I'm probably, probably not going to be able to do what I want to do here. Because what I more than likely need to be doing is digging under a fair stack of this stuff. Um, a lot of these I've gone around and, and turned a bunch off. So stuff that I'm not using. Um, so let's see. This one's off. Um, I don't feel I'm going to be making boilers anymore. Um, it depends what I need the boiler blocks for. But I've got a lot of these things keep getting backed up. And it's trying to extract a certain thing. Like this one could be steel. Um, and then it, it all gets jammed. And I end up with a whole ton of something that I really don't need. Like, I can't put that back in there. So, some of these are still on. This one's off because, I mean, reinforced filters probably need to be on. So, something I need to do now that I'm at the point of the game where I am is to go around like, honestly, do I still need a lot of this stuff? So, probably not. So, it's probably... I mean, how many, how many of this stuff do I need? And again, that's one that was all backed up. So now I've got a bunch of junk in my inventory and probably something on the floor here. Um, but yeah, a lot of these guys I've turned off because I don't particularly need them all running. Uh, now I need to get rid of the junk that is in my inventory. That's where this comes in handy. See, look... I, all of this, there's, I don't need it. Um, and that was a problem with the system I'd set up. Uh, and now that I've started going to the, the AE uh, connections, and again, I do need to continue digging out this area. Um, a lot of this stuff, potentially, this guy, this guy is making, um, it makes circuits, I think, like the purple circuits, and I don't need it in this anymore. Even though this doesn't pollute, Neither do the um, these structures. So more and more, I probably need to push towards getting rid of a lot more of these machines. Um, these guys, I think, pollute, and you're starting to see it. It's a bit hard to see at night. Starting to see a lot more pollution in the air. This guy over here was all backed up, and he was broken. Um, but I do, it's like, there's things I need to do here. I need to start removing all this cabling. Uh, because, quite honestly, none of this needs to be here anymore. It's all um, provided by AE. So, actually, let's, let's do that. Let's remove all of this. Because it does not need to be here. Well, some of that does. And some of this does, right? So this is where we have the issue. Did it actually rain or did it stop again? Weird. Um, so I probably need... I don't know how many channels I've got left on this. I probably need an interface here. that has the uh, the assault rifle ammo and the filters set up in it. So let's let's actually just check this this cable. 
this one. It's the bottom one. It's 28. 28 to 32. Go right up the end and just double check it. 28 to 32. Okay, so I've got I've got four more channels on that that line. So potentially I can fix this up a little. Where's the best place to put this? And maybe just maybe I can just bring it up. Maybe I'll just put it right here. Let us get an interface. It's not exactly what I wanted. Not straight away anyway. Um, I do want to put that guy there. Why is he on? Okay. And then in here I'm going to want it to keep this this and one of these right can you put that in there please thank you and then ducting okay and then I'm going to need a filter. I'm going to need a filter on on this side. You filter blacklist because otherwise it's just going to do that. I want a blacklist. Come on, blacklist that. Yep. And blacklist this guy, otherwise it's just going to keep feeding it around and around and around in circles. Come on. Yep, those two. And then blacklist this guy. All right. So those three items should not just constantly feed around. And I need to put a duct between them. So hopefully what will happen is when this extracts, there we go, let's put the other filter in. This one will be okay because it's set to keep two in stock. Once it fills up, uh, it'll put, you are backlogged, are you? Backlogged already. There you go. Um, once it's full, like this will extract the empties. And that should be able to go into here. And the full filters should be able to go into here and send over there. Um, I have also fixed up, all of this needs to get extracted actually. Oops. That should have been extract only because now we've got all sorts of junk in this chest. Nice. That's what I always wanted. Probably the same here, right? You extract only. Thank you. I mean, I could probably set this guy up and say um, yeah, just a couple wire. Same here. Are you set up? You are set to extract only, but it's not going to hurt. I think if this is a, a bi directional, because then it'll just put whatever's left back in there. But as long as it's set up to just be that item. Uh, yeah, so I've gone ahead and over here. Oop. Don't touch the HVY. Over in this one here, I now have it pulling full advanced carbon filters. And I think this is also... I don't have the whitelist on what it can extract, but because I have a retriever on here, it will actually retrieve the full carbon filters and it will um, process them through like so. And then it'll spit them out here and that will push it back into the system. 
So we will have clean filters pushed into the system and hopefully be ready and waiting for um, when they're required. So I do also need to go and clean up a few more things here. I need to probably give this one an interface uh, to allow, actually this one needs to be, and it's not ideal. This is our solid fuel. Which seems to be broken. Lubricant. What else do you need for solid fuel? Blocks of coal. Okay, so it should have an input. Oh, it just has a block of coal. It doesn't use it up, does it? It doesn't get consumed. Okay. So it'll just create that from gasoline, diesel, or lubricant. And what are we running? Oh, it's full of lubricant. Is that what I was running it off? Is that the most effective? 200, 200, and yes. So it's not running. Does it? not have power okay okay that that would make sense then somehow i've discon disconnected the power i haven't but i haven't <laughs> linked all this power up uh whoops so this actually needs to you know i'm going to connect it across here Well, that's a whoops. I had a lot of machines disabled just then. Now it's got fuel. Now it's producing solid fuel. Excellent. We're back and humming again. So I think a lot of my machines were probably turned off there for a second. Um, which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Uh, what are you like? We're not set to a limit. Oh, oh my gosh. Just fill it full <laughs> Of ammo. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Pretty sure we don't have filters on the bottom. Don't have filters on the bottom, it's whitelist people. Stop it. Oh, the things that happen as you play through and... That one's okay. So this one's purple. Uh, this one is military. This one's green. And this one's red. And then what am I missing? Blue. We used all the blue now. Yep, let's check over here. Maybe I've got some blue. I do, thank goodness. You are supposed to be blue. Have all of that back. The cobble should actually be going into here and it's supposed to retrieve it from wherever it is in the base but for some reason it doesn't quite and I think maybe I've gone and broken something or maybe this isn't connected anymore. That's probably more li more likely the case is that that setup's not connected which uh, I don't know. A lot of stuff I've disconnected, if that's the case. Probably is the case, though. Again, like all of these things, I've got storage buses on them. Probably don't need this anymore. Again, 
stuff to work on. This is meant to be blue. Um, yeah. Blue. Yoink. <laughs> Gone. Bring it over here. How far did we get? We are behind on blue. So, that being the case, I possibly need to go and get export buses to not have them. export bus onto here and then we're going to need a capacity card what am i missing red circuit goodness me everything's broken don't think I've got a capacity card, do I? Oh, I do. <laughs> I'll take that capacity card. I'll place it in here because we'll go from one to five. Very nice. And we'll use these. So green. Red. Oops yellow purple although this is probably a bad idea because what will happen there is it'll just force as many as it can in so that's not an ideal let's go kind of a kind of chest please ah, even that's bad Going about this all wrong. Going about this all wrong. It needs to be one of these guys. All right? To have one of each. Can I pick that up, please? One, two. Okay, so. Red, green, and then cable. Assuming that I've got enough capability in this cable, which I think I do. I might not. I'll have to check that in a second. Uh, maybe. And then I just need a... I don't ask this to have military in it because of the hopper. That'll break you. That'll break it. Then we can do that. And it will keep it topped up to the 64. And all those things are now going to go, I'm lost. I'm very lost. And then I can probably maybe remove a lot of this stuff. Um just need the one blue and we need to hook the cable up um, and as you saw before I don't have enough capability on that cable so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to run probably another dense um, in order to, to do what I want so I'll just connect these guys together And we can uh, find an output. Needed a blue, didn't I? And again, extract only because it's gonna 
because as soon as it removes one from here, uh, the system should kick in and um, start producing because we've already got the other side of it um, filled. Come on. The other side is already backlogged because it should auto insert from this. We've already got export buses, the science packs. Uh, this will also allow us to limit down to only having 64 of each because there is a point where you don't need um, research anymore and it will need to be converted into um, the, the challenge packs. Okay, this line, okay, yeah, that's that side, which means we're probably almost done. So I've, that's like got like six on it. That's not going to help. Uh, this guy is got two available. That one's full. These are all pretty full. So I am probably going to need to run another dense and do something similar that I've done here. Probably push that. How many is on that? Two? What did I say I had left on here? Two? Yep. So I can potentially run that like that. Yeah. Okay, and that frees up two on this line. But what I want to do is actually run uh, another dense cable, which will come along the top here. Yikes. All right, I've got a lot of work to do. Um, I am past the wrapping up point, pretty sure. So we've gone to Secunda. We've mined up some of the stuff, which I set up. And it was raining just then. Did you see that? I swear. I like raining. Um, I set up this little thing here to just auto crush it into the things so it's currently processing through the red and it's just a basic crusher I didn't think I needed to go any further I probably can I'll probably do that like that um, upgrade thing this thing but I'd, I'd need to go and collect some of the circuits which we're out of again um, seems like every time I come over here there's it's I think it's the silicon wafers we're really struggling on yeah that might be time yeah it might be time to just uh, EMC some again to get the base working otherwise I'm gonna be out of luck uh, silicon should should be working this guy Why? Why is there electron plate in there? Extract only, and you are supposed to be silicon. So get out. That will fix the problem, and this should kick off again. I don't. No, I can't put it back in. Good. Oh, come on. Take more. I'm going to fly over there. Uh, so, because I haven't been setting all those things properly, um, things are breaking a touch. We're probably fine. I'm just going to... No, don't do that. No. No. Go away. Thank you. Um, yeah, we should be good. These will be crafting circuits again. Going quite nuts. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Red's going through... Blue may be going through soon, depends. Put, input. It'll be waiting on a couple more greens, probably. Um, but yeah, that'll, that'll kick the pace back off, this zip through. Um, hopefully, hopefully things start crafting, but then we'll start more pollution. Anyway, all right, wrapping up. Uh, hopefully I can catch up in between and get some more stuff working.
Um, minimize some of these bins down to just being individuals. This probably needs to go to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe we need to push that higher. Still a lot of um, copper dust in here because it ran for so long because it all got backed up. So it's it's still trying to catch up and there's still iron processing behind it. But because we've got enough in here for the moment, the um, everything else has turned off. So probably, probably good that I leave this on. Um, because I really just don't need it constantly crushing. And these are all stop start. Oh, what? Oh, that's cool. Because these are, are getting backlogged. Lots and lots and lots of copper. It is going to take a long time, but at least we're start finally starting to get iron here. But, uh... Copper won't go that way anymore, it'll go the other direction to the, the arc furnace. But until we can get more of this gone, and I now have as many things as possible running, oops, running the copper. It's a long process though. A long, long process. Alrighty, thanks everyone for watching. Comments down below. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.